All right, everybody, what is up? I've got the KLX here. Today, we're gonna be doing some of the very first real mods. So today, I'm gonna be getting rid of the stock handlebars and replacing them with these Pro Taper Contour inch and one eighth bars. These are the CR High Bend. They're pretty close to the stock bend. The adapter from Pro Taper you have to run gives you three quarter inches of rise. So I think that'll be nice. It'll get the, the bar up just a little bit higher. For me, when I stand up, I kind of have to really reach down to, you know, be comfortable on the bike. So that three quarter inch, I think is going to be nice. We're also going to be putting on these generic <laughs> bark busters. We're going to be using these Zeta fork clamp mounts for the bark busters just to keep the handlebars nice and clean. This isn't going to be so much of a how-to video as it is just uh, watch me struggle through this and then it'll be easier for you. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and remove these grips and then I'm going to loosen some screws and some bolts and try to get the controls all off. So remember how I said this isn't a how-to? <laughs> yeah, it's not. I began to cut off the grip from the throttle tube and I found out that they're pretty much one and the same. It's a really super thin throttle tube and the grip is like really on there and I cut straight through. So I have to get a new throttle tube. Having said that, I'm gonna put these back on and keep riding it until my new throttle tube comes in. Could not find a specific throttle tube for the KLX 300, but I found one from Tusk for the T KLX 300R and it looks exactly the same, so I think that's gonna work. I ordered it, it should be here in a couple of days. But anyway, back to this installation video. After you pull the throttle tube off, it's a good idea to put the assembly back together and then put those screws back in place so you don't lose them next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take off this windshield just to get it out of our way you probably don't have this windshield on so this part is kind of irrelevant to you pops off we'll set that there and loosen this bolt for the clutch lever and that is going to be a 10 millimeter we're just going to leave that floating for now. On this side, I was going to just cut them off because I will be reusing them temporarily. I'm going to heat them up with a hairdryer and pull them off. We'll go ahead and actually back these screws all the way out. And then just like the other side, we will put that back together so we don't lose the screws. We're going to try to blast a little air in here. And just like that, I'm surprised that worked that well actually. You can see all the adhesive. Now that everything is either off the handlebars or loose on the handlebars, we're gonna go ahead and take these clamp bolts off and then we'll be able to take the bars off and we should be able to slide these controls off the end. These clamp bolts are also a 10 millimeter. And now everything should, we should have enough slack to slide everything off, hopefully. I lied to you, we have to take the master cylinder bolts off in order to give ourselves enough slack to slide the other side off. Perfect, pop these bolts back in so I don't lose them. Now I should be able to slide it off this end. Bingo, bango stock bars are off i don't know that i bent them people said that they're really cheesy and easy to bend. they might be tweaked actually now that i'm looking at it i think this side is tweaked a little bit because i did lay this that lay this bike down a couple of times oh yeah they're definitely slightly tweaked it's like this side is pulled forward or this side's pulled back good thing i got some new ones they actually might not be it's close but they're actually a little bit higher than the new ones but then the new ones have three quarter inch rise i don't know we'll see old versus new i got the platinum in the pro taper i think it looks pretty slick i thought it would look good with the uh zeta clamp mounts for the um bark busters and look good with the overall color scheme you know everything's black definitely could have gone black but figured i'd try something different now we'll open up our Pro Taper Universal Bar Clamp Adapters. These are going to allow us to put those inch and one eighth fat bars onto our stock KLX 300 Triple Tree. You 
you see that piece just fits into where the old bars went the bolts for the top clamp piece should be facing out so it shouldn't go like this it should go like this okay now we're going to take our clamp our little 10 millimeter socket and our bars and we're going to put them up here and kind of just mock them up because Pro Taper has these cut marks on here and these bars are wider than I think I'm going to want them. I'm going to mock it up and see where exactly I want to cut it. Now I'm not going to tighten them like crazy because I just, I'm doing this as a mock up. Damn, those look pretty good. All right, so I have this welding blanket that has a couple of uh, burn holes in it. Perfect to slide over the handlebar. Should be able to grind that with the grinder in place. And I'll go ahead and cut the other side with the grinder as well. Now, having said that, you should probably go ahead and watch the full video <laughs> before you just start following along because I'm sure I'm going to mess things up along the way. Ow. Turns out that when you cut metal, it's hot. <sighs> so... Somehow I expected there to be a lot more sparks, but there weren't. So, cool. Now I'm just going to go ahead and clean up those edges as well. Freaking factory. So we'll slide the clutch lever on first. Running the setup with the three quarter inch of rise results in the clutch cable being barely long enough. And I might end up replacing the stock clutch cable with a longer one in the future. But for now, I think we're gonna be all right. So we'll go ahead, we'll put these clamps back on. We'll give all these a decent little snug. I don't think they have to come off again. Something important to note is that the original handlebars had a hole drilled in them for this to seat into, and that keeps the assembly from moving. Some people choose to drill a hole. Other people choose to put double-sided tape and then just count on the clamping force to keep those controls from moving. I feel like that's pretty good there. When I cut the bars, I cut them based off of how they felt and compared them to the stock bars. And so they're like the same width now as the stock bars. But what I didn't take into account is how long this flat section is on the stock bars, opposed to how short it is on these pro tapers. So there's barely, barely, barely enough room to get everything on there and make it work. Were I doing this install again, I probably would have left the CR high bend bars full length. I wouldn't have cut that half inch off of each side. So that's just something to consider. So I know that I'm putting on these Oxford heated grip. I need to position the master cylinder the correct distance from the end to allow for my kill switch and starting switch and the heated grip. So for the throttle side, I decided to go the route of actually cutting off that little piece of plastic that would require you to drill a hole now that did serve a purpose of keeping this assembly from moving but i'm gonna go ahead and wrap some tape around it it should be able to just clamp tight to it i've seen other people do that in the past so i'm gonna try it and we'll see how it holds up finally got that throttle rustled back into there it works as it should again this is kind of temporary because i am getting a new throttle tube in so i'm going to eventually be you know putting on these oxford heated grips in place of these but for now that'll get me back on the road I'm going to go ahead and cut the end off of the old grips because I'm putting the bark busters on. So I'm just going to kind of eyeball it. Again, I don't care too much about this because this is temporary. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put our bark busters on. Because we got the Zeta fork clamp mounts, we went ahead and jacked up the front end of the bike to get the weight off the front so we can take those fork clamp bolts out then we'll put them back in through these mounts and then we should be able to hook the bark busters and mount them right up to that and that just keeps the handlebars nice and clean gives us room to mount like a phone mount there later or whatever else we want to do all right now this side is done go ahead and do the same thing to the other side the only difference is on the other side you have the brake line coming through this bracket it's not going to really change anything we're going to put the zeta clamp right on top of that bracket and then just go through it all all right i'm out here on the klx after installing the pro taper bars and the bark busters It feels so different without the windshield on. 
I've gotten so used to riding it with the windshield on. It's like riding a bike without a helmet now, you know? Once you take the windshield off, it's like, whoa, I feel so exposed. It definitely feels taller. It feels like a bigger bike now. I don't know. That might be weird, but I think it feels taller. If you're looking at doing this, anything with a higher rise, just go ahead and buy a new brake line because it's a little bit tighter than I want it. I mean, ultimately I got everything in there, but the clutch lever too is a little bit tighter than I would like it to be. The biggest thing is I would not have cut those bars at all because I had to put uh, the clutch a little bit further this way than I wanted. So it's starting to get into that curve there. So because of that, when I pull that clutch in, it's like up higher than it should be. I don't know, it feels just slightly odd. And I might get used to that or I might have to do something to fix that. Other than that, I'm pretty happy with the install. I think it looks pretty cool. I think it feels pretty good. It might just be something I gotta get used to with that clutch too, I don't know. But um, yeah, let me know what you think about the uh, Pro Taper bars on here. Let me know what you think about how it looks. And also let me know if you're running a setup, if you have a KLX and you have different bars that you like, leave it in the comments below. I definitely think while the weather's warm, I'm gonna leave the windshield off. I kinda like the way it looks and I definitely like the way it feels without it. Also, I feel like the windscreen created a lot of wind noise in my helmet because like the wind went over my body but hit me right in the helmet and uh, it made it really loud in here. So now like without it, it feels quieter in the cockpit. I think I like the Pro Taper bars so far. I think they look cool as hell. Um, standing up, it definitely feels better for me. But again, I wouldn't go any higher than three quarter rise, those CR high bends. I know the KX high bends are higher. That's why I didn't go with them to begin with. They're even higher. And if you did that, you would definitely need new cables, um, probably a new brake line. I feel like this is max you could do without getting new, new cables and a brake line. Well, shit. Last time I was down these trails, I was on a pit bike. I don't feel like trying to get around that, so I'm gonna turn around. I know there's a trail that comes out up here somewhere. There it is. Oh, it's overgrown. There's the trail I was looking for.
got the pro taper bars on got the bark busters on if you stayed for the whole video thank you so much please give it a thumbs up click the subscription button and then the notification bell so you know when i'm posting my next video thanks and we'll see you next time